Welcome, pilots! In this video, I'll be presenting a full playthrough of the Angel Cartel occupied mining colony in a rupture. Well, uh, maybe I'll show a playthrough in a site fleet issue instead. This was recorded as part of my Minmatar Cruiser Fitting Guide on an Alpha character with a bit under 1.5 million skill points. You can find the rupture fit in that video or over on my website at RileyEntertainment.com. I'll review the fit for the site fleet issue shortly in this video. This is a bit of a departure from my usual edited content, but I thought it might be helpful for younger players to be able to watch a full playthrough on a low-skill character of one of the more difficult combat sites in Angel Cartel space. If you're looking for an edited summary of this site, you can check out my 13-part Angel Cartel video series. Since my cruiser fitting series was targeting young alpha players in their first month of skill training, I had purposely limited my Minmatar cruiser, medium projectile turret, and several shield skills to level 3. Continuing to train these would certainly have helped, but I'm not convinced these alone would make this site feasible for alpha pilots to complete. While I did ultimately manage to complete the site, it was definitely not at all a smooth run. I had to warp out multiple times, ultimately coming to terms with the fact that I'd have to whittle down all of the ships in the second room before taking on the Domination Excavator. So with all that said, I'm instead choosing to present my full playthrough in the Scythe Fleet issue. There will be fairly minimal commentary during the fight. The fit uses Meta Level 4 Heavy Missile Launchers with two Tech 2 Ballistic Control Systems to achieve about 200 DPS. The drone bay is filled with Caldari Navy Hornets, which have the highest shield hit points of any light drone. The active shield tank consists of a large compact shield booster, compact multi-spectrum shield hardener, and compact shield boost amplifier in the mid-slots, along with the core defense operational solidifier rig to achieve a shield boost rate of over 90 hit points per second. In order to make the ship cap stable, I fit a large compact cap battery in the mid-slots, two compact capacitor flux coils and a compact power diagnostic system in the low slots, and two capacitor control circuit rigs. What really helps this Scythe Fleet fit work in the Angel 4 of 10 site is that it's able to apply full damage with its missiles at over 40 kilometers. As you'll see in the playthrough, you're able to kite around the edge of the area in the second room, pummeling the Domination Excavator with missiles while mitigating the incoming damage. So here I am, landing in the first room of the site. I'll be kiting around the area, taking out all the ships before taking the gate into the second room.
and the area is clear, so off we go into the second room. Here in the second room, I'll be focusing solely on the Domination Excavator. I'm fairly certain my tank will hold, so long as I keep myself at a reasonable range from the mob. We started to pierce his shield, so things are looking pretty good. Down goes the excavator. Now I'll be focusing on the ships that use target painters as I loop around to collect the loot.
Agistum C-Type 50MN Micro Warp Drive. Why, thank you, Mr. Excavator, for the rather nice drop today. So there it is, the Angel Cartel 4 of 10 in a heavy missile Scythe Fleet issue. I have similar videos of an Alpha character running 4 of 10 sites in cruisers for each player faction. I'd hope this video would feature a rupture, but this site in particular is just a little too rough for low-skill characters to run in that ship. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, I've set up a Patreon account where I'll be continuing to post playthroughs using some quirky fits on my Omega clone character. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more PvE ship-fitting guides, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.